primary rainforests of the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica harbor many species of wild fauna and flora. With its diverse habitats, ranging from small creeks to large riverbeds and dense tropical rainforests, it is regarded as one of the most biodiverse regions on the planet. Within this vulnerable and declining ecosystem, many animals are fighting for survival. Among them is the largest venomous snake of Central America, the Central American bush monster, Lachesis stenophrys. This enigmatic snake species is seldomly seen by locals, and since it's so rare, not many scientists have been able to properly study it. In the heart of the South Caribbean lies the Kekulde Indigenous Reserve, a stronghold of the native Bribri. The area is littered with beautiful natural sceneries. A staggering amount of wild animals such as mammals, birds and reptiles and thousands of species of flora. After visiting the area several times, local herpetologists have found that the population of Central American bush monsters seems to do quite well in the region, with several sightings each year. This makes the reserve one of the best places in the world to observe the snake genus in the wild. This special region provides an unprecedented opportunity to study the ecology of the Central American bush monster. And it is for this reason that the Bush Monster Conservation Project was created. The Bush Monster Conservation Project is a herb conservation program and it's the first ever in situ conservation and study effort on Lachesi stenophrys. The project is maintained and supported by five enthusiasts on the genus. Herpetologist Laura Reusseveld, the CEO of the herb, Sebastian Hernandez, the president of Kekoldi Waka Koneke and the founder of the Kekoldi Biological Station, Bushmaster Specialist Graven Corrales from the Instituto Glodomiro Picado, Scientist Aaron Gomez, head of the Serpentarium of the same institute, and Herpetologist Brian Minne, COO of the Herb. Together they are determined to uncover the secretive ecology of the species by using radio tracking transmitters. This will allow them to determine the species home range size and their spatial ecology. It will also allow them to get a peek inside of the day-to-day -day lives of these animals, making it possible to describe their ethology and study intraspecific interactions. Last but not least, they'll be able to acquire data on population size and the limit of possible threats to the species, necessary information to design proper conservation methods. Promoting the species as a flagship species for coastal Caribbean rainforests might also be beneficial to the protection of the area from further exploitation. The project will be actively educating local communities on the presence of this species as well as the benefits of having large snakes in an environment, in order to hopefully increase understanding and decrease the amount of animals being killed out of fear and ignorance. Of course, all bush monsters found by the project will be identified and biometric data will be gathered. Another interesting topic is reproductive biology. Bush monsters are oviparous vipers, showing clear signs of nest protection behavior and parental care in captivity. Having a possibility to record and study this in the wild is incredible. Since the project is housed in the biological station of the indigenous reserve, Students, field herpers and herpetologists are able to visit it. Biology students will be able to follow research internships 
and guest scientists will have a platform to study aspects of Bushmaster ecology. Field herpers can come and visit the project to have a chance of seeing the species in the wild among plenty of other species of herpetofauna. Common snake species around the reserve include the well-known eyelash vipers, fertile ants, annelated tree boas, hognosed pit vipers, coral snakes and even Panamanian dwarf boas. Amphibians such as the red-eyed tree frog as well as several species of dart frogs and glass frogs are also plentiful. The project is equipped with ample of accommodation space for up to 24 people, separate bathrooms, a kitchen, a library and a study and relaxing area. Although there's a long road ahead, we hope that our project will be nothing less than a success and that the Central American Bushmaster will be kind enough to let us in on some of its well-kept secrets. For more information, visit our website www.bushmasterproject.com or our Facebook page. If you have any questions regarding the project or even wish to support us, you're most welcome to send us an email on info at herb.be. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you soon. Pura Vida!